I had a business mentor who would always say, once you find the thing that you'll do for free, then that's the thing that you're going to end up doing for a lifetime. And I feel like me helping others with their business, like I feel so fulfilled doing it. Hi, I'm Destiny Adams. I'm 29 years old and I make around $158,000 per year and I live in Michigan. Since the start of COVID, my life has changed a lot because I used to work in the office and then I went from working at home full time and also with the salon, we had to close down from the end of March to the beginning of June. So a lot of our sales transitioned from in stores as far as with our hair and wig products to a lot of online products. While I was in college, I met a lot of girls who were from the Detroit area who had long hair extensions. And we didn't have that too much in Grand Rapids where people would have the hair extensions on hand. So what it would pretty much consist of is I would take me and my sister, we would drive about two and a half hours to Detroit to purchase hair and get our hair done. So I wanted to create an atmosphere like that in Grand Rapids. I started my hair extension company in 2016. It started off as me just offering a delivery service to people in our area and also selling the hair extensions online. And I remember I told myself if I met a certain income goal that I'm gonna open up a salon and have a storefront. I was born and raised on the southeast side of Grand Rapids, Michigan in a single parent household due to my father being killed when I was eight months old. My mom had three children and she was a factory worker, which is very common in the state of Michigan. My grandma stepped in to play a big part in our lives and also just noticing that in our community, we didn't see a lot of households that had mom and dad figures. Even filling that void, like it really wasn't there because a lot of people just had their moms. I grew up in income-based housing and my mom was one of those parents who she made sure that her kids were, <laughs> I would say dress the best. Like when we went to school, we had the latest shoes, the latest clothes. My mom pretty much didn't have a lot of time to cook because she was always so busy with working. So we would eat a lot of fast food. It was a lot of McDonald's, a lot of Burger Kings, a lot of going to different restaurants, just so she can have enough time to spend time with us. And then we'll bond on having our meals together. I didn't start learning about money until I joined the army. I was attending Grand Valley State University where I got an internship at the local high school to be a security guard. And while I was there, the recruiters would come in and talk to the high school students. And I stopped in to talk to them one day and I liked the sound of the benefits that they were talking about. So I had ended up signing up and joined right after college. And while I was in the army, that's when I had my first personal finance course where they told us about what we should do with our money as far as investing, as far as making sure we're saving our money and also making sure we're not lending our money out to our family members. Once I returned from army training, I started going to different military job fairs. And at that time, the state of Michigan was there setting up, letting us know what different career paths we can take with our degrees. And I chose to go the child welfare route. I currently rent a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment for $1,340 in the Kentwood area, which is pretty much five minutes outside of Grand Rapids. And I love the Kentwood area because it's close to everything. I have a grocery store within five minutes. The mall is also within five minutes. And then there's a lot of restaurants and food places around. I currently drive a 2011 Mercedes-Benz E-Class and I purchased that car in 2015. And the unique story behind why I got that car is because I had a side hustle where I was baking cakes. I had raised $13,000 in a span of three months. So I put that as a down payment on my car and I was able to pay my car off early last year. I spend roughly $900 per month on food, which includes a lot of dining out. And a lot of that time is social time with friends, grabbing drinks. I like to collect Louis Vuitton bags and I like their classic handbags. And one of the reasons I like Louis Vuitton in particular is because once you buy a bag, you can keep it for years down the line. And once it's time to sell, they also keep a good resale value.
So when I joined the Army, one of the benefits that I was looking forward to was the student loan repayment program. But once I joined, especially with the state of Michigan, they were behind on making the student loan payments. So I have been out of the Army for two years now, and I still have around $44,000 left. And they've been making payments of roughly $7,000 per year. But one of the things that the state of Michigan also offers is the public service loan forgiveness program. So I'm currently enrolled in both programs. I've been with the state of Michigan for six years. And by year 10, I should be able to have my student loans erased. Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Back in November of 2019, I took a trip to China. And while I was in China, I started noticing like all the different wholesale items that I can get at a good price and resale. And I started documenting that journey on Instagram. And once I started putting it on my Instagram, a lot of people started asking me, how could they get started running their own businesses where they can find different products? And that's when I started talking about it on YouTube. So I started showing different people like, hey, you can get this product for this price. And then also started walking them through the process of creating a business plan, building their business credit, and pretty much going along the lines of that and building based on what my audience wanted. I've been doing this, it's been almost a year now. And I just got these lights within the past month. And I think I got these ones within the past three months. And this was my original setup. I started off with my iPhone and then I just got the Canon G7X within the past five months. Being an entrepreneur is important to me because it allows me to live the life that I really wanna live. Because as far as with working a nine to five, it really restricts your income. With being an entrepreneur, you'll make as much money as just as hard as you work. So I save around $1,000 per month and I currently have around $24,000 in my savings accounts and I pretty much just save that for a rainy day. I've been saving for retirement for approximately six years now. So once I started with the state of Michigan, I started setting aside $500 per month and I've been doing that for the past six years which they also offer employer matching with my 401k plan. So my personal brand is named after me, Destiny Adams, and then I have a tagline, which is the traveling hair boss, since I travel a lot and I'm in the salon industry. I advertise my t-shirt line through YouTube, and I also advertise it through my Facebook and Instagram, and a lot of people will see me in person wearing the shirts, and then they'll inquire on how to buy them. So I'm in the process of buying my first home. I'm gonna use my VA loan and I'm looking to buy a home in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Five years from now, I can really see myself still making my YouTube videos, traveling more, really being a digital nomad if I can. So I do plan on growing my YouTube channel, which I hope to do YouTube full time one day. And then I can use that channel to also show my traveling experiences.